yes this is the second video of today's uh, english one in the first video i have described you what is a sentence and what are the subjects and the predicates of a sentence right and after that you will come after watching that video you have hopefully completed the task 1 or exercise 1 now we move on towards the next topic that is kinds of sentences so let's do it next we will move on to the next topic you can see written here kinds of sentences so our next video is about kinds of sentences yes kinds of sentences hopefully you have understood what is a sentence why is that we call it as sense and tense in the previous video now we move on to the kinds of sentences now sentences are divided into five kinds one is assertive then interrogative then imperative then optative then finally exclamatory okay exclamatory now let me write it a little bigger exclamatory exclamatory sentences all right so first type of sentence assertive sentence assertive sentence assertive sentences are also called declarative sentences where through this type of sentences we declare something we tell something we use a statement about you know ourselves or someone or somebody or something now declarative sentences are of two types one affirmative and one negative in affirmative sentences you will find no no words you will not find any no words like no not neither neither none in negative sentences you will find no words like no not neither neither none i have written example you see i am a teacher i am declaring i am using the statement about myself about my profession that i am a teacher okay i am declaring myself to be a teacher however here i have not used any word like no not neither neither none i have not used any no words here so this type of sentences are affirmative sentences now next example in red you see i am not a doctor so here also i am making a declaration i am using a statement telling about my profession or which i do not do okay that i am not a doctor i am a teacher i am not a doctor so here you see i have used no word no not none so here i have used not so this type of sentences are negative sentences clear so this is what is assertive sentence which is also known as statement and also in some books you will find as declarative sentences next we move on to our next type of sentences that is interrogative sentences now when we are conversing with each other when we are talking to each other is it that only we keep on declaring keep on telling and do not give others opportunity to speak put forward their statement no it is not that so suppose i am saying i am a teacher i'm not a doctor what about you what is your profession or what do you do all right so here i'm asking a question okay and this type of sentence is where i am asking a question i'm putting forward a query is known as interrogative sentence see the example in orange it is saying is your school open and ending with a big question mark which is very important see assertive sentences end with assertive sentences end with full stop i am a teacher full stop 
I'm not a doctor, full stop. However, question sentences end with question sentences end with question mark. When you write a sentence, punctuation is very important. Okay, I rubbed school, so let me write it. Yeah. So, you know, is your school open? I'm asking question. Now, question sentences are of two types again. Open-ended and closed-ended. Now, in open-ended sentences are those, uh, open-ended questions are those where I ask a question in return, when you retort, when you reply, that you get a scope of explaining yourself, explaining the answer. Like, what do you do the whole day? Or how are you spending your time during this lockdown time? So you have a long paragraph of two minutes to speak. That's, that was our first or, uh, you know, second activity in English, right? So these type of sentences are called open-ended. I'm giving an open opportunity to speak more. However, closed-ended, no, not. Answers are either no or not, a no or yes, right? So, like, do you like ice cream? So, you will either say, yes, I like ice cream, or you will say, no, I do not, no, I don't like ice cream. So, no or yes, yes, no questions, okay? So, these are the interrogative sentences. Next, we move on to imperative sentences. What are imperative sentences? Now, when we are talking, talking to each other, during talking, during our work, we come across some requests. Sometimes we order. So these requests and orders or commands, these are the optatives, uh, imperative, sorry, imperative sentences. Like, if I say, please open the door. Here I'm requesting politely, humbly, please open the door. Same sentence, I can order you saying, open the door, open the door. So, you know, we come across these type of sentences also. So what are these type of sentences? These type of sentences are grouped under imperative sentences right so after that we move on to the next section that is optative sentences optative sentences are nothing but prayers and desires what are desires desires are wishes wishes right like may god bless you i'm praying may god bless you i wish you a very happy birthday wishes i'm wishing Okay, so these are optative sentences. Opti uh, so under optative sentences comes prayer or desire or wishes. Next, last type of sentences here are the exclamatory sentences. Exclamatory sentences, I repeatedly tell you, are used to express the deep emotions of our heart. Like someone is dead. Alas, he is dead. Somebody lost the match. Alas, we lost the match. Somebody won the match. Hooray, we have won the match. Someone's, someone passes examination with flying colors. So then that's it. Hooray, we, I passed the examination with very good marks. Or congratulations you have passed the examination with extremely good marks all right so these are the deep emotions expression all right so i have given the examples you see uh, alas we have lost next how wonderful work this is what a beautiful work okay so these are exclamatory sentences and remember exclamatory sentences ends with exclamation mark question sentences end with question mark exclamatory sentences end with exclamation mark rest all the sentences end with full stop okay now this is it the explanation part is over now i will send you these two videos 
after that i will uh, i first i will send you the first video then i will send you the exercise related to first video then i will send you the second video but immediately after the second video i will i am sending you the examples okay now after this video sorry after this video you see immediately you will not find the exercises after this video you will fi first find few examples go through the example sentences thoroughly and then move on to exercise 2 identify the kinds of sentences and finish your work finish it by tomorrow evening and submit it to me all right so till then take care